Halloween, so we're going to show you some interesting recipes and science experiments. All good recipes start with a plan or a menu. But now that we've written down our menu, we're going to put our pencils away. Instead of putting them in a box like we normally would, we're going to put them in a plastic bag full of water. Do you think it will leak if we put a pencil in? Raise your hand if you do. You're just going to poke it in? It didn't leak. Raise your hand if you think it's going to leak the second time. There we go. It didn't. Let's try a third. And abracadabra, it didn't leak. We put the pencil inside the bag. The polymers wrap around the pencil and seal the water in. Our next experiment is to remind you to wash your hands. Here we have a kiddie pool. It's full of bubble form plus. We're actually using baking powder. This will make the bubbles stay longer. There we go. Let's just lift it up. We're going to make some spooky witch's brew for Halloween. And next, we have some dry ice. Dry ice is so cold that it can burn you, so you always have to have an adult around when you're using it. Double, double, toil and trouble. Frogs and toads begin to bubble. Look, it's already smoking. Let's pour some in our glass. You might notice that there's a gummy worm in the bottom of our glass to make it super spooky. We're going to actually carbonate them. You just want a couple of pieces in each one? How about two for that one, Delaney? Good idea, Hadley. Wow, they're already starting to smoke. Dry ice is made of carbon dioxide. We're going to make a spoon scream for Halloween. First, Hadley's going to dip a spoon in some warm water. There we go. Now she's going to put it onto the dry ice. Did you hear it scream? This works because as Hadley said earlier, when dry ice melts, it turns into carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is pushing up, so the spoon is pushing down. That makes it scream or vibrate. Now we're going to make some boo bubbles. Let's make one for every letter of Halloween. H, A, L, L. This works because the surface tension of the bubble holds the fog inside until it pops. Next, we're going to make some spooky pumpkin salad. Now we're going to show you a fun way to mix liquids. A vortex is a tornado inside a bottle. A vortex causes liquids and gases to travel in spirals. To make our vortex, we need to make a liquid in motion fall through a hole. Let's just shake it four times. And there we go. Raise your hand if you see it. And the tornado is starting. There we go. And <laughs> now it's ending. We're going to put them in these cute little pumpkins. Here we go. Now, these are great for presentation. We use every single part of the pumpkin. The outside, the meat, the seeds. Now, we're going to make some terrifying apple teas. We're starting with a red, delicious apple. Now, for the best part, the seeds. These are slivered up. They're uneven and Halloween-y. How they look? They look exactly like little apple teeth. And there we go. Some worms. And I've made some slime. You could also do this with icing if you wanted, but we're using food coloring. Look, they're finished. And there we go. Let's pretend this is your tummy. Raise your hand if you think it's full. You're right, but you can always fit more things in, like these little colored sprinkles. Let's try them. Mm. Let's just shake them in. It fills up the air spaces. You want to make sure this doesn't happen to your tummy when you eat. When your tummy first tells you that you're full, it's time to stop eating. 